Alright, so as you're gonna see in a second here, the title of this chapter is General Jagard. So you can probably infer that we're gonna fight the fourth and final general of the Black Swarm in this chapter. But before any of that, we get our first glimpse of motherfucker Dr. Godot himself, and just check out this bastard, like... Look at his mask! Look at his hair! Look at his fucking to the heavens collar! Like, where do you buy lab coats like that? I wanna fucking know. Like, Jesus Christ, it's like they took Goto from the Ace Attorney series and just, like, changed a couple letters of his name and then, like, stretched him way the hell out. Like, Jesus. My favorite part of this guy is, like, the game just treats him like he's any other human being. Like, this motherfucker just goes to the supermarket and buys groceries. Like, he's, just, you know, like, your everyday entomologist. Like, they all look like that. They all look like that. No way he's gonna, like, try and take over the world with some weird-ass plot involving bug robots. No way. Good though. Loves puppies. Great at parties. Okay, so, <laughs> this is chapter 11. Uh, I said this chapter's gonna be weird, and it's weird for more reasons than just the fucking monster we saw a moment ago, so... But I'm gonna talk about some, uh, normal shit first. So, we're fighting Jigard in this chapter, obviously, and he piles a centipede, and, uh... This game loves to make the centipede just, like, a way higher level than anyone else in our party. And this chapter is no exception, so he's, like, six levels above Yamato right now. But, uh, not only that, but they're also just, like, already... I would say like the third best unit in the game. They have some absurd stats, so they have like pretty good speed, decent defense, I guess, pretty good HP, um, and like a lot of barriers, so we can't even rely on like cheap shit to kill him, really. Um, not to mention the fact that he has six movement and treads, but he also has like the best guns in the game and they're anti air as well. So these guys are a threat whenever they pop up, and they start popping up. Not often, but often enough to be a pain in the ass. Um, some more notable shit that happens in this map is there are four capsules, which is a lot, despite how small the map is. Um, we're, we're gonna pick up three of them, and the three that we pick up have weapon upgrades for Janie, Blade, and Raphael. And the last one has a Cicada Song card in it, and uh, we actually do want that, but for some reason it's also in a capsule two chapters later from now, so we're just gonna pick it up then. Okay, but to actually cover what this chapter's deal is, is we're fighting Jigard. And I think how this chapter is supposed to work is, after a certain number of turns, Jigard um, calls the other three generals in as reinforcements, and then everyone starts to freak out, and we get all worried. Um, that's not quite what's gonna happen here. Instead, we're just gonna fucking be really fast and kill Jigard before he has a chance to do anything. And the game just, like, has the reinforcements come anyway, I guess, to, like, preserve the integrity of the map or whatever. So. Um, all the generals come in as reinforcements, and everyone's like, oh no, not all the generals, oh god. Um, and then the victory conditions of the map actually update. And right now it's just like, kill everything like normal. Um, but the update to be either continue to kill everything as normal, or you can escape. And you escape in this game by moving into a, like, one of a number of, like, tiles the game specifies as being like the escape zone. So you move Sakuma there, and then the chapter just ends. So that's what we're gonna do, we're just gonna fuck off. So, we're gonna kill Jagard, we're gonna pick up the last two capsules, and then we're gonna have Janie move to the escape zone and spider thread Sakuma into it, and that ends the chapter. Um, where this kinda comes back to bite us in the ass is that, now we're gonna start not killing everything in every chapter, and I mentioned a long time ago that this game does out experience and money based on how much shit you kill, and since we're not gonna kill everything, we're actually gonna fall behind in both experience and money. And I've already said that we um, start running into money problems in this game, and we're also gonna run into experience problems where we're just actually not gonna have enough stats in order to kill things or survive hits from things, so when we get to that point in the game, everything gets really fun, but for now, we're just gonna escape, and that's chapter 11 being in four turns. Um, there is one more thing about this chapter, though, and I hinted at it in the last one. Um, so after everything's wrapped up here, Jagard actually manages to kidnap Yui? And then once Shoya realizes that she's gone, he fucks off to go and rescue her, and then they both leave the party. Like, now we only have seven members in it, and... We'll get them back, like, way, way later in the game, but, uh, we never use those two again. They're retired. 